Here's the generic VR cockpit. Here's the retextured one. I added a, a see-through floors so you can look down below you and uh, there's actually uh, kind of looks like a textured glass design on the uh, console. Uh, I couldn't do the actual cockpit in glass because it's not the model's not that way. So I got these textures from various sources. You're just searching online, and uh, some of them are Doom textures from uh, like some of the Doom mods, and that I just reworked and removed around, and you know uh, did a little editing. And uh, some of them are pictures from work or whatnot, uh, just textures. And uh, the rest I just, you know, got online and kind of messed with on, uh, on GIMP or Photoshop or whatever. So if you want these, uh, there will be a link in my description. It's three files because it's the, uh, the texture and the, like, the shininess and the gloss and stuff like that. And uh, so it's three files. And... I'll show you a how to put it in the file system. So obviously to play this VR, you're gonna need the Gnosis Mod Manager and download, if you got Windows, the Windows version. Just download that. So this is the one you wanna use right here. So now you're gonna to wanna, to, you know, install this one. So you install it. If you wanna modify it, you, you can add whatever graphics or whatever mods to it so you just hit ok and so if you ever want to revert it back you can go to options and uh, verify integrity if you want to change anything you gotta first you gotta look at your file uh, your free space file to play it you get a video you change your video you can change your audio to where you want to bring your audio to so if you're using different headphones or something uh, also, you can change your uh, joystick. So, using the uh, flight stick, which is pretty, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So yeah. All right, here's how to change the cockpit textures. All right, go to C drive. Click on games next. Now, click free space open. Go down to FS2. Scroll down to VR101. Hit data. Scroll down to maps. If you want to change it. Now these last three right here are the ones we're going to change. So if you just drop the file in and hit replace all, it'll change it. So all the files and links will be in my video description. So download what you need. Download Gnosis to use the mods. Now, when you use Gnosis, you gotta make sure you link it to a retail copy of your game. That way it even works. So, as long as you do that, then go to the files, download the files, uh, the three files, and then just drag and drop them into that, that maps folder and replace them, and it should work. So, this is just a quick how to. But uh, test it out. Let me know what you think. Comment below if you need any help or uh, let me know what you think about it.